us. Today, our topic is um, human act. In our last class, we dealt with acts of man. And uh, we made to understand in that class that acts of man is not so limited to human beings. This can be performed even by lesser creatures like animals because they don't flow from free will or from um, meditation. And no person can be made to be responsible for an act of man. Today we flip to human acts. Human acts, these are acts done or carried out by a person by their own initiative, and that's why we have the word here, free will. Your initiative, there's no external force. There's no external tension. By your own initiative, free will. This makes that person the cause of the action. And because the person is the cause of the action, without external uh, force or pressure, we can say the person is responsible for the act. That's why it's a human act. And when a person is responsible for his or her action or act, such can be placed under moral judgment, whether they are good or bad. So describing an act as a human act means that the person who carried out the act is the cause, like I've said, of such act, and therefore responsible for the act. This human act are very proper to human beings alone. They can be carried out by animals. We know animals they lack our rational powers. What makes us higher creatures? So human acts, true to their name, can be carried out only by human beings. There are certain characteristics of human acts. Three I will bring to our, uh, our attention today. First, such act must be performed, carried out consciously. Where I talk about consciously, you know, there are some people when you see them that they are, they are awake like this, like I am awake now, but they are not conscious. That's like the attentiveness. That's what you see to be while in class. Consciously, knowingly, such acts must be performed consciously. Remember what we had our last class acts of man. Sneezing, you don't need to do that consciously. Sometimes it just comes or you want to belch. But this one must be performed consciously, knowingly. The second, it must be performed freely, like I said. Freely, free will, freely, without any external force. If somebody pushes you, no, freely. And it must be done willfully. That's voluntary. That you want to do it. This thought character is quite different from it being done freely. Something might be done freely, but not willfully. Now you want to do it. You are not in that. So these characteristics make an act human. We also have constituent elements of human act. A constituent element is that which forms a part of the whole. The constituent elements of the human heart are the following. One, previous knowledge of the intellect. And second, free will. When I talk about previous knowledge, previous knowledge of the heart, this simply means that you are aware of the implication of that act. You understand it is in your intellect. It's not the case that after doing, they not tell you about it. That means you can't really be judged for what you did not know. So, the constant element of human art is that for it to be considered human art, you must have this previous knowledge in your intellect. And the second one is free will. Now, we also have impediments to human art. Impediments are factors which block or obstruct the human act from coming to be. Like, let's say these impediments, if they are present in the person while carrying out such act, we can't fully say that that act is a human act because of this impediment. One of such impediment is ignorance. Like I said, 
cost to implement of human arts, previous knowledge of the intellect, you are aware. Now, ignorance is the lack of knowledge that a person ought to have pertaining the art. Example that I would love to bring out here is, let's say for example, somebody comes to the college newly and is not aware of the time for assembly. And that person just strolls in from the class, let's say 30 minutes after the time for assembly. You can't really say the person did it willingly or knowingly. Such action cannot be termed that it's disobedience from the person to come to assembly ground. It will be wrong to input that on that person because he or she was not aware of the proper time, did not seek to know it or was not told. That was about ignorance, what you ought to know. The second impediment is passion. Passion, this is the movement of our sensitive appetites towards love, hatred, joy, sadness, anger, sexual pleasures. Physically, the passions in every human being, they are good in themselves. But when they are looked at in terms of deliberate act, and we will perform them intentionally, freely, willfully, when they are looked at like that, they are either good or bad. Now we are trying to look at what was the intention behind this passion. So these passions could also serve as impediments to human art when they occur and they block reason. The third one is violence. And violence here will mean any force applied to an, from an external source. Like I said, once there's this violence, it strips that human person of the free will. I mean, there's violence, external person against their will and superior to their power. The fault is fear. You know, sometimes this fear, you might see a case that you, we can use to corroborate this is, let's say, the act of bullying in the hostel now. You know that this person will deal with you and your parent calls you and asks you what happened and because you are afraid she would not want to say the actual thing that happened that means there is that fear in you is making you to say what you are going to say out of fear so when we want to look at that act once it is established that there was fear in you before you said what you said at that time it could be said to be an impediment to that act. And when we are judging it, we can't fully look at it just like human act, you're responsible for that action. So that will be all pertaining to human acts. You should not forget that as different from acts of man, human acts become from the free will of the person. That person also becomes the cause, originator of that act. And because of that, person is responsible for it, and such can be placed under moral judgment. You have a great day. That will be all for now.